It is July, happy summer. We are fully in the best time of the year here in the Seattle area. And it's Emily Cressy here to give you a real estate market update for what's going on with housing in the Seattle area this summer. Now, good news for sellers is that we have very low inventory on the market. That means not very many homes for sale. Buyers don't have a lot to choose from. So if you are a buyer out there, you need to do a couple of different things. First, I always recommend people look at at least 10 homes before they start making offers so that you can learn the market, understand what's out there, walk into the property. I will take you out, smell it, look at it without the wide angle lens and just see what it's like. You wanna know how far your money goes in the different neighborhoods that you're considering, in the different property types you're considering and really find out what those trade-offs and compromises are gonna be so that you can make the best uh, decision involving a combination of factors for you. So let's look at the data here. These are the July, or th they're July statistics, their end of June is what we get. And so uh, here for this month, we're looking at what's going on in Seattle, the city of Seattle, as well as Snohomish County. And we're looking at month by month data. These are home sales prices. So you can see here, that our median home price has now started to flatten out uh, going into the summer. We tend not to have as strong activity as we do in the spring. So we had a big run up here in the spring, January to May, and now things are starting to flatten out. We can expect kind of a pause, take a breather, everybody goes on vacation, and then another bump again in the autumn. The worst time to sell your house is in the winter months between Thanksgiving and the Super Bowl, roughly. And if you wanna sell outside of that time, spring or fall are the best. So if it's summer now and you're thinking about selling, if you can hold off till fall, we can get you set up and ready to go to um, prepare your property properly. Okay, that's a bit of a tongue twister. But yeah, as you can see, we're at like 820 in Seattle, 700 in Snohomish compared to our high, high, high of all time. Right last year, last spring, we were at 880 and 875. So we're down seven, eight percent from those highs. It's not the end of the world, and we're still above where we were in previous years. So for those thinking about a market crash, it doesn't seem to be happening. I don't predict a market crash because I don't think interest rates are going to go up hugely from here. And I don't think that we're going to suddenly get a flood of a, a supply of houses on the market. As long as inventory is tight, prices will stay high as well. Uh, if you want to look at new listings, how many homes are getting listed uh, more and more each month since spring, as prices have gone up, more and more people have been willing to put their houses on the market. Homes for sale, again, more throughout the spring. All the inventory has not been sopped up yet closed sales, lots of transactions going on, and days on market is low. Look at this, we're down to a week or less for uh, home selling quickly on average. And you can see that's kind of similar to how it was here. It never tends to go down lower than a week because usually if the market is that tight, agents will use an offer review date, meaning the house goes on the market Wednesday or Thursday, everyone has a chance to look at it over the weekend. And then on Monday or Tuesday, we have a call for offers. We look at all the offers at the same time so that we're having uh, really a good market exposure. Everyone has a chance to take a look at it. And uh, shows to pending, this just lets us know how many homes on average buyers are looking at before they make their offer. And it's about 11 or 12 here. So this is a sign of a very strong market. We're still in a seller's market. Uh, homes are selling at 100% of list price uh, in the case of the median homes. So it's a, and I would say we're seeing a little bit of a, I'm sorry, a few homes are selling for less than they started their listing. So we are seeing homes price drop here on average. It's not necessary on an average. They're selling actually a little bit higher than the list price. So as long as you list appropriately, you don't get crazy, you have a good chance of selling for 100% of asking. So thank you so much for watching. This is Emily Cressy with HomeSmart. If you have any questions about buying or selling a home in the Seattle or Bellevue area, please reach out and let me know. I'm always here to help.